Hello everybody, my name is Ash and welcome to another Fallout video. Although this is uh, this is kind of a first for me, but this is the uh, Fallout 4 uh, build video. I guess it's a Fallout 4 build video, but it's more of an experiment. Uh, this is kind of an improvisation, improvisational uh, sort of thing, so I've got no script. I'm just literally trying to put theory into practice here. But basically I've got my uh, my test character here. I've just... Uh, you know, pretty much set up this character for testing purposes. Essentially, I wanted to show you guys that you can make yourself a, a decent build with the minigun. And I ain't uh, talking about, you no know, uh, using the uh, gun basher perk and the, you know, the blender shredder mod to make yourself pretty much cool, which is a pretty thing. I think, I think it was French Tom on the Hawk that made a video where he just used the uh, shredder attachment on the minigun and just went to town. Anyway, the special setup here, fairly simple, uh, six strength heavy gunner and whatnot, but we'll get to the perks as we go. Uh, but this is the perks that, uh, special setup I've got. Uh, we haven't read the book in Sanctuary yet over in, in the house, but I'm probably gonna, depending on what, if you're playing on very hard, if you play our survival, uh, Probably dictates what you want. I think because we're not doing idiot savant, I think uh, going for high intelligence might be the best way. You'll get the special bob, special book to, for intelligence for eight, and then bobblehead for nine. Pretty good. Oh, you go with strength. Anyway, the perks, the main perks we want to go for for this build. Um, obviously, we want to go with heavy gunner. That's where all of our damage damage is going to come from. Get double damage right there. Another important perk is uh, chemist. There we go. Because we need one of the main main things to make this build viable uh, requires at least one point of chemist uh, to craft the uh, the the drug in, that we want to do. And also have it last twice as long or three times as long. If it's two hundred percent more, it's gonna be gonna last forever better criticals and i think that's pretty much all the perks you really need uh heavy gunner chemist and better criticals now for quality of life we are going to take scrounger for uh, the, just so we can find more five, five millimeter ammo uh, survivability in toughness fortune finder isn't really too much of an issue I guess the extra base damage is, will be nice. Uh, I guess armorer. I mean, a lot of this stuff isn't really important. Uh, literally, the first three perks are selected with is, is what you need. But anything else is a bonus. Uh, Lone Wanderer. I guess that's an <clears throat> essential just for the twenty-five percent extra damage. I don't really need action points. I don't plan on using that. Strong back. Obviously get that just for the uh, sake of being able to kill shit. Or carry stuff. I mean, you're using a heavy weapon. If you're playing this game on survival difficulty, strong back and lone survivor is pretty much a must. Um, you know, if you're playing on survival difficulty, actually, um, I'll go, go with chem resistance. For, uh, but go for survival difficulty. Maybe drop your... Uh, endurance to one and maybe boost your endurance to charisma six just so you can get local leader because be, being able to dump all your junk in a local settlement and supply line everything up is very very convenient imo right gun up don't know if i even need that but whatever i think we're good how many perks points we have left. We've got five left. I mean, we can really put them anywhere. We can put a point into strength for steady aim, but I really don't rate that very highly. Uh, I do have Cap Collector as one of the listed perks on my uh, build planner, but it's like just for convenience. I'm here to test the damage out of this anyway, so... And you know what, life giver. Use life, get some health regen, why not? <laughs> so 
Explore this scrapper. I do have science as well. Hard but scrapper. There isn't really much to it. Anyway, this is the very bare basic mod. Anyway, uh pick up all of our gear. Make ourselves nice and sturdy. Got the minigun, that's the uh the weapon of choice, I guess. How sturdy. As you can see, we're not really going to be doing much damage at the moment. If we do what we do to Codsworth. Oh yeah, I forgot. We actually still have God Mode on. <laughs> we're actually using a lot of ammo, but the problem is with this is we are using up a lot of uh <clears throat> ammo. Like the minigun is probably one of the most inefficient weapons in the entire game. Which is why it kinda gets like shit on. And deservedly so. Anyway, damage rate of fire. Inferior rate of fire, better damage. So what I want to do is I want to go with the accelerated barrel. It's a shredder mod. I mean, the bash is ridiculously good, but not what we were looking for. Don't think we need anything for st standard sights. It really doesn't matter. Really ain't shit for me, but none of this matters. But since we're playing, I've got the difficulty set to very hard, so. We're going to be uh, trying to make ourselves as dirty as posh possible. We don't even have science, so we can't even have our... Pocketed limb damage, you know, why not? Reduce magnitude of incoming staggers. I guess that would be better, a good idea. If we're using a minigun, we want to be able to not get as uh, stun lock, not as susceptible to stun lock. Would be uh, would be a good idea, right? Yeah, I know this is not a as a profession as professionally thrown together as a their foot Fudge Muppet video, but this is just for a proof of concept. See if we can actually make this uh, this mini gun actually uh, decent. Now, even though I'm not using a VAT build, you obviously I'm doing a. Uh, one of the perks I went with was better criticals. You know, 2.5% times damage, which... And I'm not using VATs. You're probably wondering, what the hell am I doing with a, a minigun and using not using VATs as better critical? Well, the main draw is this particular drug here, Overdrive, which allows us to get 25% more damage, flat flat damage, and a 25% critical chance. And that critical chance is actually um, outside of that, so you can get score random crits. And it kind of turns the game into like Fallout 3 and New Vegas, where, you know, every time you fire your gun, you have a chance of hitting a crit. You don't have, it's not locked behind, uh, behind vats. So you combine that with like a fully automatic weapon or with a lucky weapon as well, you can be doing a lot of damage without even using that, which is brilliant. But obviously the, one of the components you need is Nuka Cola and Psycho. Now Minecraft Psycho, but it's uh, it's one of them. Like you've got to manage your resources. So you got to make sure you have enough stim packs, Nuka Cola and Psycho, and then obviously Psycho needs stim packs, hub flowers, and a bit of a rabbit hole. I just craft a lot of these. I 
kind of what we're going for here. Up edge. Yeah, save it that to far. That's one. I always have. I've always had the uh, thin packs to uh, <coughs> bound to far in these games. All right. So should have uh, all my map markers unlocked. All right. So if we go to uh, go to a place that's a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Uh, we're going with lead lined. <laughs> Go find some like nasties to kill. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, I'm not expecting too much. Obviously, we've got a, a load of nasty uh, enemies here. Now, this is obviously you could do this with power armor as well. I don't know how many enemies we got out here. Need to find stuff to kill. Look at the settings. Play very hard. Maybe Quincy might have been a better idea. Pop our uh, all the drive. See there. So obviously, fortify crit chance, which is kind of a weird thing to call it. Should have, maybe should have pulled out some psycho as well. But see what happens. Oh, what's over that? But don't can't aim for, aim shit though. Oh, good thing I took that stagger resistance. Okay, why am I... Okay, there we go. Oh, fuck. Why, what? I hate these blood wings. Okay, really? <laughs> Fucking really? They're gonna... They're just gonna chain... I can't even... I'm like hitting the mouse button, by the way, and I'm not. And it takes about two seconds for me to sh even start shooting. That's not good. All right, what's? Well, I was kind of hoping for, for something that wasn't a bloody bug, but whatever. Maybe the glowing sea was not a good idea to go here because we don't have any right away. I was kind of hoping for like scorpions and uh, death claws. But I've had I've, the yeah, absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Where are these enemies? Oh, there's a death claw. So if you had a. Uh... we had a, a legendary minigun, this would be, make things be a lot easier. What the hell was that? Was that a rad scorpion? Oh shit! What the fuck? Obviously, if we had a... Uh... Yeah, but that's a death part of it, isn't it? If we had a uh, legendary effect on this minigun, like uh, explosive kneecapper, a hey, nimble would be pretty funny. You see here, we are getting like criticals out. Now we are doing a decent amount of damage, but obviously, I think I think if we had like legendary effects, I know there's the uh, ash maker. We can, uh, some super mutants to kill. Should 
shouldn't have done this. We should have gone to like a place that wasn't radiated. <laughs> But I think uh, if you had like legendary effects on on the uh, minigun, like kneecapper would be brilliant. Uh, blooded, oh, not blooded. Uh... Okay, I've got it on my Discord server, but uh... but like go for lucky, which can get, increase your crit damage by double. Double your crit damage if you had, if you had a lucky minigun. Lucky chest piece. I don't think having plus two luck. I don't think your luck stat actually affects how many uh, crits you can do. It just because it's always going to be. I think luck only affects how qu quick you have a build up in vats. But since we're using crits outside of vats. Kind of shit out of luck here. Guess maybe agility for quick hands would be a good idea. Guess maybe a sentinel armor if you want to stand still and shoot stuff. Like to be fair, now this this build, uh, obviously, like you'd probably just be better off using any other weapon and doing the same thing, but. The whole point of this is to just show you guys, like, hey, this is actually, you can actually make a decent build with this. You can, oh, you can actually <coughs> get some damage out with this if you make use of the drug overdrive. Here, yeah. this place is supposed to be full of ghouls. Obviously, we're. Uh, Oh, there's a ghoul. Yeah, there's like a delay on the minigun as well. Like I pulled it out and then pressed the mouse button. And it didn't like start revving up. So I guess the minigun has its own issues. God, here we go. Yeah. Can't wait for it to fucking grab me with no arms. Eh. It's pretty good. But if you had um, that legendary effect on it, like violent, which is twenty five percent more damage, but with more recoil, uh, explosive because you know what doesn't can't go wrong with explosive automatic weapons. Of course, you might end up killing yourself with that one. Uh, kneecapper, which fucks up people's legs. Oh, Absalon, he's a he's a fucking badass. Let's see if he how he feels about this. Oh, gotta reload. <laughs> but yeah, kneecapper, which uh, basically incapacitates enemies near instantly so even if you have like high health like if you use it on a death claw or a, or a or a behemoth you pretty much won the battle because they just can't they can't move anybody who's used the uh unique well not really unique but you can get a flamethrower from a uh, far harbor from one of the merchants called sergeant ash and that's uh that can essentially make the uh game pretty pretty easy uh there is a uh a legendary minigun you can get from a mission, uh, Bobby No, Bobby No Nos, has it, and it's uh, what, and basically it's called the Ash Man. Oh, she don't, she don't have it, but the uh, Fahrenheit has it. Bobby No Nos. Bobby No Nos has the. Uh, Oh, but I guess ballistic weapon. I guess if you pick up the guns and bullets, you can boost your critical damage out even further. So there is, so there is that. Pretty 
Did it right away? Hey, right away. But yeah, in terms of uh, the Ash Maker, which uh, you can get from Far kill Fahrenheit at the end of Bo the mission quest you do for Bobby No Knows over in Good Neighbor. Uh, it's, it does add a fire effect to all your bullets, but if I remember correctly, it doesn't like it isn't really that good because it has because it reapplies the fire effects constantly, so it doesn't actually like give you like a decent amount of damage over time. It's not like it stacks itself. You see, we're not doing too bad for damage. But obviously, I started this video with 4,000 bullets, and we're all pretty much running out. They're all overlords, because I've power level, like, council command myself it up to level 50. Yeah, obviously, we... To be blue probably better if we had a different weapon <laughs> honestly <laughs> but like i said this is i just wanted to test the theory of a weapon of a minigun build but honestly this might be a, a good build for any automatic weapon oh, you know put you know p apply the same logic but instead of using a put your strength up to six for like heavy gunner you'd probably be better off oh god that's I think I think this warlord's gonna out kit outgun me. Yeah, just barely. Jesus. The dream died. Yeah, catch. <laughs> I guess that only works in Fallout 3. <laughs> well, <coughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that uh, curiosity. I guess, uh, I guess miniguns suck no matter what, even even with with the right build. But hey, if you wanna, f if you have a uh, mods that allow you to craft legendary effects, or if you wanna actually take time to uh, farm for legendary effects, I suppose. Uh, with the right with the right mods it might be viable but like i said this build that i've got here and the, the whole drug overdrive it actually uh ground your five on one well, random ammo save is not really there we find that what's that sentry bot that's usually around here there's also that there's also that guy with the two legendary dogs. They're not even legendary dogs, but one of them he has like a radio he has like a radioactive dog. Dandor. Yeah, I think, I think he's up here with his crazy ro radioactive dogs. Is he getting killed? I think he's getting killed by his own dogs, by the sounds of it. What the hell happened to his dog? His dogs started killing each other. Yeah, Ruby Ant. What's going on here? All of his dogs and. Usually he he it's him and and the two dogs that come after you, but apparently they all fight like find each other. Huh? Yeah, I usually get these. Oh, 
I never. Fucking bizarre. Really bizarre. Anyway, I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed that weird curiosity. Um. You know, stream stream on uh, Twitch, over on Twitch, you know, Fallout 3, New Vegas, this game, Mass Effect, so on and so forth. So if you guys are interested in, in that, oh, can I kill myself with the car? No, it never happens when I'm trying to record. Anyway, if you guys uh, enjoyed what you saw, and uh, have any ideas of any other builds I want I should try out, experiment on? Uh, let me know, and I'll uh, see you, see to it. And uh, follow me on Twitch, so on and so forth. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.